Hello everyone. <laughs> This is podcast number six, and uh, I am Russian. Uh, I am Russian who is speaking English right now because I am. I want to. This is English podcast number six for Bait Channel, and uh, I have a guest uh, tonight, very important person for us, Crystalis or Crystalis. Hello. What's the right uh, option? Both Crystalis. are fine. Uh, but I say Crystalis, yeah. Not Crystalize, right? Ah, uh, yeah, you're funny. <laughs> I didn't. I don't. I didn't. I don't. I didn't even start. <laughs> I, 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 I di help me, man. Help me, dude. <laughs> Help me. <laughs> I did not even start yet, right? Uh-huh. Okay. Okay. As audience already got, already understand, understood, <laughs> my English <laughs> is not very good. Uh, so I will <laughs> so I will speak to you like a Russian crime boss from Guy Ritchie movie. Are you okay with this? Are you okay with this? <laughs> yes, okay. Sure. okay, okay. Have you ever seen any Guy Ritchie movies? Uh, no. I have no idea what it is. Okay, this podcast is over. Uh, <laughs> it was very entertaining, and <laughs> dude, you really did it. Uh, you really don't know any Guy Ritchie movie? No, I have okay, no idea. Okay, what okay, is. okay. Wait, I am going to start. Snatch. I think I've heard the name before, but I haven't seen it. Oh, of course. Okay, Gentleman, the last movie. Nope. Oh my God, Sherlock with Downey. Sherlock Black, Holmes with uh, Robert Downey uh, Jr. I never watched Sherlock Holmes movie, but okay, this I, I, uh, <laughs> conversation about movies is over. Let's move forward. The the first question was will be very easy for you, I guess. Uh, what is your name? Uh, Remco Aretz. Remco. Remco. Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Why yeah. did I ask uh, about your name? Of course, I, I know your know. name. Of course, I know your name. You work in bait. I too. Me too. But this is the right way to start. You know, what is your name? Uh -huh. And you say, and I already forgot what your name. <laughs> <laughs> Can you repeat it? <laughs> Remco. Remco. Okay. Nice. You got it. Okay. I'm not gonna remember your last name because it doesn't make any sense. Just Remco. <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah, sure. Uh, Remco. Mm -hmm. Is it popular name in uh, Netherlands? Uh, not really. It's not uncommon either, but it's not too popular. So you, you're a unique person. Uh, yes, I'm very what unique. City, what city are you from? Uh, I'm from Albeck. It's all the way down in Limburg. Okay, it's north, south, west. The east, south. The south. Very important information for us. Mm -hmm. Thank you mm -hmm. very much. And the uh, next question will be not that easy. It's a very yeah. hard question, so you have to be prepared. Yeah, because, yeah, I'm preparing. Uh, I, like, I like to start from the tough questions. Uh-huh. Uh, what is your favorite song? Fuck. Uh, I don't know that song. <laughs> <laughs> That's a hard one. Um, I think probably "Wish You Were Gay" from Billie Eilish. Billie I, Eilish. Okay, this conversation uh, is over again. Uh, I thought uh, so. I <laughs> expect. <it. laughs> mm -hmm. I'm very glad you're here, uh, Billie Eilish uh, fan. I'm not. Uh, the first Billie Eilish, Eilish, uh, Eilish, uh, Billie Eilish fan in my life. I don't know why, because I'm Russian. I'm from Soviet Russia. We have only balalaika and stuff. <laughs> change your views on the the Holy okay. Lord Putin. Eminem is the king. That's all. We, that's all we know. Uh, that's good enough. So let's talk about Dota a, a bit. You are a daughter, right? Yes, I play Dota. Dota. Dota two player. The first question about Dota. Well, why did you start to play this game? Because. Uh, my brother and my cousin were playing it in like a summer when I was like 13 and I wanted to join in on them so I did and then I got addicted and I didn't <laughs> and I went to uni and I went to play Dota so you got addicted but they left the game uh they still play it like here and there but uh, they had high school and I was still in the uh, in primary school pretty much and mm -hmm. uh, I had a lot more time to spend so I played the game a lot more than them and they eventually went to uni uh And uh, I was in high school, and I just kept playing Dota. Honestly, that's it. So your brother and your cousin, right? Uh, uh -huh. Did they success in Dota 2? or they uh, just they got three K trash like me? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Oh. If you call divine success, then sure. So, they didn't get much higher. Okay, what is your MMR right now? Uh, right now it's 9.8 K. So almost 10 K. Almost 10k. I how do like you feel? Much. How do you feel when you read the titles when somebody got 11k MMR already? 
Uh, good on them, I guess. <laughs> I, I don't. Are you jealous? No, I wouldn't be jealous. I don't know. Something, somebody far away from you already. Like uh, no, I mean, mere distance. <laughs> good job to them, I guess. I'll, okay. I'll catch up some point, but uh, I'm not sure. I believe you're gonna be like top twenty at 10k, and then you're gonna be top uh, ten or top five, I guess, when you get around 11k. I know that you are in Russia, we say Zadrot. In, in English, it means like the try hard. Yeah, try harder, right? And uh, you got uh, 25 level heroes. I right? got one. And it is Monkey King, right? Oh. Many people think that Monkey King is a hero for boosting. Uh, so, you have, so you have 25 level of Monkey King, dude. You boosted. Yeah, I, I got, no, I got boosted by someone else. I paid someone else. So a twenty, it's not your twenty-five level of money. Yeah, no, no, not really, no, 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 not at all. Okay, okay. Uh, it's not my nine point eight km either. <laughs> uh, Skeeter boosted me. Why you, <laughs> why you like this hero so much? Uh, I don't know. It's funny. <laughs> that's funny, uh, funny the funny. only reason that uh, I don't know. It moves around fast. That's big stun. It can solo carry games, but it's just uh, it's just a funny hero. And this personality is funny. He's super cocky. I I think it's entertaining. So you connect yourself to the monkey king. Yeah, exactly. I, I go I go ape mode inside when I play this hero. That's it. And I enjoy it. The next question is about competitive. 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 Uh, I'm from mm -hmm. I'm Boris Britva from Guy Ritchie. Yeah, uh, you are. Competitive Dota. Have you ever participated in uh, LAN tournaments, my friend? Uh, like a year ago, I participated in one really small tournament in uh, Zagreb, in Croatia. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's it. <laughs> and that's not, it. Not what, what, what was your place? Uh, the end. Uh, third place, I believe. Third or fourth? Third I think third. <laughs> Out of four. <laughs> third, third, the third is better than fourth. You know. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You weren't last place. I'm pretty sure it was third place. Do you feel that you have? Uh, do 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 you feel that you need this uh, land competitive experience to to be the better player? Because uh, uh, I'm sure it helps. It it helps in the boot camps and other stuff uh, because. Um, Many players think that uh, it's okay, just play Dota. Uh, I know the game very well. I have high MMR and uh, other stuff. But when they start to play competitive, they lose. What is the difference for you between the competitive Dota and uh, just Dota? It's a lot more organized. Everyone is uh, working together in pubs. It's all a bit chaotic. You never know if your uh, if your plus five bane is going to ult the creep or not, and uh, in a competitive, it usually just doesn't happen. People play a lot more clean. Uh, that's the main difference to me. I heard that uh, in public, you know the word public. It's the same yeah, in yeah. English, right? Mm -hmm. uh, public. Uh, but in public games, you have to play for yourself, not for uh, the team. I think that's maybe true in lower MMRs, but when you get to high MMRs and you know that your teammates are also good, I think there's no need to do this. And eventually, you're going to have to start thinking that uh, if your team is uh, is in a good place, then you have a higher chance of winning. So sometimes focusing on your team instead of yourself can be very important. Do you have a Do you have any role models in Dora? Uh, not really. I mean, I like GH because he's nice, but that's about it. Yeah, but GH is the plus four player. You're yeah, yeah. plus one player. I mean, uh, I don't. The, the guy you learned from, you know, like the. No one. I I maybe I watch Miracle or. Oh, that's I it. When you say no one, but... I thought that it's it's no. No, one not the good. player. No one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I I I teach it myself. I sometimes just watch random programs if I feel like it, but I don't look up to anyone. I have respect for all of them, but I don't look uh, look up to them when I didn't like learn it from them on, alone. Who is the best carry in the world right now for your? By your uh, me, of course. <laughs> oh, no, I mean after you, dude. Uh, okay, all right. A skeeter, of course, without a doubt. Who else? Okay, and uh, if we'll we will be a bit serious. Um... Oh, I'm sorry, skeeter is probably the second <laughs> after you. But who is the third? <laughs> yeah, one? yeah, yeah, of course, know, like of the, course. That's the point. Maybe Matu or Miracle. I I guess I'd say Matu because I like him more. How do you think? What's, what is the secret of Team Secret? Is it the situation when other teams just don't give a shit about the season already? Or it's just an incredible team? Uh, it's an incredible team, I think. They just make very little mistakes in games, if any at all. And they play... Uh, they just play very solid. It's very hard to find openings when you play against them, I think. They're just very good right now. They have a lot of players who can play in almost any situation. 
uh, I don't know, they, they look a bit unbreakable right now. And I don't think it's because teams don't give a fuck or some shit like that. It kind of sounds weird to me. I think that people are going to try to play as good as they can anyway. It's, of course, maybe a bit harder because boot camping is a lot harder. A lot of players have to, um, a lot of teams have to find stand ins because of Corona uh, and all that. But I, I don't think that teams are going to just like uh, <laughs> not care because no DPC. That sounds weird to me. There's still prize pools, there's still tournaments to play. There's still times where they, you know, it's better if teams uh, play well. Because in related to money and sponsors, they will also get more. I don't see a good reason for them to just uh, not give a fuck because there's no DPC points. Uh, I don't think that's uh, that's the reason that Secret is winning, at least. The other popular opinion uh, is about comparing uh, Secret and OG. Some people think that OG is the best team in the world and probably in the history of Dota. And uh, others think that Team Secret is the best team in the world and probably in the history of Dota. The opinions about OG are based on TIs and the opinions about Team Secret based on the seasons. How do you think? What makes you the better team by results? Two TIs without any season success or season success without TIs? I would say two TIs because it's when the people are trying the hardest and really, really, really want to win uh, all the time. Although I'm not sure, I've never seen Secret uh, be as good as they are right now before, even uh, when OG was, I mean, when OG was winning TIs, I didn't think Secret was that good as they are right now. So I feel like if there would be a TI this year, uh, I feel like Secret would win it instead of OG. And I think that would show that right now Secret is the better team, but previously it was OG. Is it okay that uh, only one tournament of in the season can boost teams to the highest level? I know what you mean. Uh, well, to me, it's uh, I don't really have a lot of knowledge about how this works uh, economics-wise, so I feel like I'd better leave that question with other people. Um, but in the end, what I want most is just that the, the Dota's longevity is uh, as as best as it could be instead of the game, which is kind of dying right now, which is, is I, I just hope that they, that they find a way to uh, make the game survive as long as possible, because right now what they're doing doesn't seem to be working very well. Yeah, we know, you know what I mean. Uh, the team, mm -hmm. for example, Team Secret, tries their uh, tries to win every tournament in the season. Every. They work hard uh, the whole year. But on the other side of the moon, the team appeared one month before the TI. They did not work hard for the, for the whole season, and they won TI. Is it fair? I or... think so, because if they won TI, they must have beat all the other teams, and they must be pretty fucking good. Even if they didn't work hard for it, TI is about seeing who the best team is, not uh, who has worked the hardest. Usually yeah. the people who work the hardest are the best team, but still, if you have some special case, I feel like they deserve to win it if they play the best. What do you want to change in Dota right now? <laughs> Monkey King Echo Saber. Uh, that's <laughs> the only thing I can think of. Uh, I don't really care about the other What do you mean? What do you mean? Uh, last patch, or a couple patches ago already, I think they nerfed Echo Saber so that it doesn't work on Monkey's Wukong's command and they just uh, kind of fucked the hero completely. They gave him some buffs right now, which makes him playable again, but still, I, I miss uh, Echo Saber and Monkey. It does my uh, favorite build. What, what is your favorite heroes uh, without Monkey King? Uh, uh, Amber Spirit is my second best for sure. Um, I like BL, I like BA, I like LC, or Legion Commander, I guess. Uh, I mean, I used to play Bloodseeker also, but it's not uh, a plus one hero anymore at all, so I'm not playing it. I like Void Spirit, I think that's that's most of them. They can be played on plus one if you know what you're doing, it's just very rare. I, I just think it's funny to do it, that's all. And I, I uh, if the patch allows for it, usually I play it a couple times in scrims or in pubs. I got your point. You are a Monkey King player with uh, Legion Commander Dreams. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sure. Okay, you joined Bait a couple of months ago, I think, right? Mm -hmm. Three or four months ago. Yeah. I will... Okay, yes. Uh, what can you say about Dendi? The about legend Dendi? of Dota. Dota 2. I, I mean, Boris Britva. Dota 2. Uh, Dendi, the, the, the legend of Dota 2. What can you say about this guy? Uh, he what? is, uh, overall, he's a super nice guy and he's uh, insanely motivated to uh, get into the pro scene again as a player. I, I think he's a, he's a very nice person. And I think uh, he, he deserves uh, the fame that he has. Okay, you already played uh, with Fishman and 5UP before? Uh, before the yeah, play. I did. Mm -hmm. uh, and you keep playing with them? Yeah. 
What is the magic? <laughs> Where is the magic and what is the magic? Uh, no, uh, Fishman is good post five, and uh, we enjoy playing with each other. And five have just tagged along, I guess. I don't know what else to say. Fishman wanted to play with five, especially. So, what makes what makes Fishman a good player on post five? I, I don't know. He's funny to play with. He usually doesn't tilt. So fun, uh, fun. It's, it's all about fun. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's the best thing I can say. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just. Uh, I, don't know, I was asking about some uh, professional skills and yeah, uh, I mean, his, his I technique. Know. You know, like the we we got uh, a good I think connection. He's just funny okay, I got yeah, it. I mean, we got a good connection together. We we're playing lane very well. When I started playing with him, especially, we were owning every single lane. We were duo queuing in pubs. A lot of people uh, know the Chrysalis Fishman duo queue by now. Uh, I don't know. It was just uh, I just enjoyed playing with him. Honestly, people, people, people dodge you. Uh, no, no, no well, they're the enemy team, of course. Yeah, yeah, they dodge the search, right? Uh huh. Uh, and five up. I guess he has more twenty-five level heroes than you. I think does he? Yeah, maybe. I think it's, I think it's Shaker. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Not Dark Phoenix. Willow. May no Phoenix is twenty-five. It, I guess. Are you sure? Uh, I'm like ninety-nine percent sure. sure. Not Phoenix. The Pangolier is level twenty-five. Pango, yeah, Pango, Pango. Yeah. I think Sorry. Pango, Shaker, and Earth are level twenty-five. I believe. Maybe it was Platinum Earthford, I'm not sure. How much time do you need to get 25 level, even if you uh, do all the quests? I don't know, like 500 games plus, I think. It's, uh, Five, it's 500? Uh, three or 500, I think, yeah. It's a lot of fucking games. Not easy to get level 25 on any hero. Is it worth it? Uh, depends. Does I mean, it worth it, or is it worth it? Does it? Is it? it? Is it? Is it? Is it worth it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, I don't know. You got one voice line, and uh, you have like a cool icon in your uh, picture, and that's it. If you if it's worth it, you can tell me. But I don't know. You shouldn't play a hero to get level twenty five on it. At least you play the hero because you like it, and then you get level twenty five as a, an extra. When I go play Dota every day, I play different heroes because i can't play the same hero two games in a row i just can't maybe okay two games in a row i can but three in a row how can you professional players play one hero like 20 times in a row the same uh, hero what is your motivation to do it <laughs> Uh, it's our job, I guess. I mean, I have you, to Your job is to play good, you know? You can, yeah, yeah. But you I, can switch heroes, dude. Switch playing, heroes. You can play... Playing. Okay, okay. Wait, wait, wait a second. I know uh, it's your Okay, podcast. I'm waiting. I know, I know yeah, you're yeah. the game. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, take it off. Yeah, it's fine. Is... You're fucking Legend 3. Go ahead. Tell I am me. Boris Tell me how it's done. Tell me how wait it's done. Wait a second. Okay, well, Boris Britva mod activated. Wait a second. You can play one game Sven, the second game Monkey King, the third game Morphling, and switch this hero, swap every time. But how can you play one hero in a row like 20, 30, 40 times? I mean, I think it's I... Not, it's the it, job, it's two job. You can play Sven, M MK, uh, Morphling, it's, it's, it's your job too. It's I don't same. think uh, most people actually play that many games in a row though. Like maybe 10 or max 20 games in a row is what they play. And the reason you do it is if they don't know how the hero works exactly. They just pick it every single game to figure out how it works. And uh, I, it doesn't matter if you don't like doing it. Uh, you do it to become a better player. <laughs> you shouldn't uh, complain about it too much. Give your advice for 3k trash player like me. <laughs> if I want to play Monkey King and uh, raise my MMR, what should I do on Monkey King? Simple advice. Like two, three advice. <laughs> Give up. <laughs> what? <laughs> Give up. <laughs> Why? Because <laughs> it's you. <laughs> what the fuck, man? Well, uh, I mean, seriously, you know, like, I don't, I, I know how Monkey King works. I know how, okay, okay. I know how Monkey King's spells works. Whoa, okay. I know how he jumped from one tree to another. Yeah, nice. That's one I know that, can, that, 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 that he can be stunned by yes, cutting he can the be trees. <laughs> I know that his ulti, uh, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> How does it work? But can you get, <laughs> yeah. can you what, imagine? I am three not imagine. I am really three K trash player. Three K three K trash I player. Know. But can you, you just give me can you just give me advice how to play Monkey King on three K to have uh, win rates more than 
sixty percent. You you play a lot of Monkey King. You just spam it. You know, I can That's play. All. I can play. You play 100... it twenty games in a row. That's all. Wait, 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 man, wait. I can play Monkey King one hundred games in a row, but I will play it the same way because I don't know some little things. You know, some secrets and on the. That's just all that in general. You need to practice. There, there is no uh, no magical uh, no magical word I can tell you to make you suddenly like at least no, not you, fine. You, you, know, you know, you know, you know what I mean, dude. Uh, you I know what to, you mean, and uh, maybe, maybe there, you say maybe you say you, you should not farm on Monkey King <laughs> after tenth minute. You should fight wrong. already. But I it don't know. It depends on every single game. Right now, on Monkey, the Zero is playing different every single game, and there's a different item build every single game because there's always a, a more optimal way to play than what you're doing right now. Probably. Okay, when you play when okay when you play Spectre. For example, right? Spectre. Spectre. Dota is in the black and white game. <laughs> I know, man. I know, man. Let me stop from the start. Uh -huh. <laughs> there is a different type of heroes in Dota 2. Do you agree? Yes. Yeah, there are. Okay. What kind of type is Monkey King? Uh... <laughs> Like can you? What, what, usually, what, what, usually it's a, it's an active or like or usually active. it's like yeah, no, okay, yeah, active okay, and snowball. Okay, finally, yeah. we finally we, we usually though not every game. So fi usually finally, we made the first step of your advice. So it's an active hero, mostly, right? Yes, mostly, <laughs> most likely. So it's how it's, you want to play. Yeah. So if it's active hero, you don't have to farm forty minutes. In most games you don't, but in some games in you do. In most games you, but in some games we are talking about the mo most games, Pro probably right. We are talking about win rate of sixty percent. So in most games you have to be active. In most games, right? You want to be, yeah. So it's not allowed to make Midas on Monkey King. No, 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 not Midas. You oh, should never yeah. build. Uh, well, okay, that, okay, that, okay, that, sure, sure. That would be your first advice. Don't you ever buy fucking Midas. Or Battle Fury, Monkey. or I kill you. Or Heaven Salver. No. Midas, Battle Fury, and Halvard. <laughs> if you kill, if you buy the shit, the uh, bad play are going to send the KGV. You know, you know Admiral, Bull, uh, Admiral Bulldog. Yeah, I know Admiral Bulldog. He gave advice. He gave his advice to the audience seven years ago. And I still remember it. Of course, it doesn't work nowadays. But yes. he, gave, he, gave, he gave his advice seven years ago, and I still remember it. Don't you ever buy Midas on Furion before Facebook. <laughs> you know? That's, that's, that's what, such that, that advice. <laughs> <laughs> but he said it. I remember it. <laughs> yeah, that's for your 3K right now. No, you no, dude, I, 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 don't, I, I don't play Nature's Sport. <laughs> when yeah, when yeah. is the last time you see a Furion with fucking Facebook? <laughs> Dude, we are talking about we we we're not gonna check the the life of this advice nowadays. Uh -huh. But the point is of the point is in the advice. It was simple advice that time. Don't buy Midas before the Facebooks on mm -hmm. Furion in 2013. You can give the same kind of advice for Monkey King right now. Don't ever buy Midas on MK ever. Like and don't buy Battle Fury, right? And Heaven Salvert, yes. We already know, you, know you, you must not do these three things, playing Monkey King, right? Midas, yes. Battle Fury, and uh, Helvens, Schmelvens, right? Yeah, you got it. Yeah, okay, what kind of boots you buy on <laughs> Monkey King? <laughs> most. <laughs> most games. Uh, most games are by face boots, but I like yeah, Power Trap. Okay, well. okay, guys, remember, no Battle Fury, no Midas, no Helvens, Schmelvens. <laughs> and <laughs> oh, and face boots in most games. Yes. Okay. No fucking power threats. Oh, you can buy them too, but I like face boots more. Okay. If you if the guy with twenty level twenty five of Monkey King says that he likes face boots, so you have to like face boots too. Yeah. Sure. Nice. What about the first first item after boots? Uh... Is it Shadow Blade? <laughs> 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 okay. The third. Item you don't have to buy on Monkey King is Shadow Blade, right? It can be good in some games, but uh, when you no, probably to, when, probably when, you don't when, buy it first item. When, no. when you need silver, I guess. You don't buy it first item, but yeah, it can be decent when you need silver. Okay, like, okay, it's not about first item. What first item in the most games you buy on Monkey King? Uh, most games you buy Aghanims. Uh, if you play with Magnus, I usually buy Monta. I really like the item, but only with Magnus. 
And in some games, you can buy Desolator first item if enemies have very low armor. It can be really good. Thank you very much. No problem. <laughs> uh, it was very entertaining advice to play Monkey King. Yeah. But let's let's uh, but uh, let's return to the bait team. Okay. You suck. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, let's return to the. <laughs> I will cut this. <laughs> Let's no, return. leave it in. Let's... It's funny. Leave it in. It's funny. It's funny. Leave it in. <laughs> don't cut that out. Come on. It's I'm funny. I'm gonna be fired after that if I don't. No, no, no. I, I give you consent. It's fine. You can do it. It's funny. <laughs> uh, the only question I get, I have, is why. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. You're the one who's saying that I suck. I think I should ask you that question. Why do I suck? Your lose streak is. Let me check. Uh, <laughs> I pretending that I typing something. Yeah, yeah. Uh, nice. Okay, it's like twenty seven games or something in a row. You lost. Uh, and the, the, Already twenty seven. The last, the last yeah. streak. The last. The new one. Oh. I don't. I don't. I didn't check the. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> the but, previous uh, one was twenty seven. Th th that's not something. my lose streak. You know, you can you can ask Dandy. He played with them. I didn't. I I I dropped this question. In yeah. Okay, it sucks. Been, uh, so you don't suck. Yeah, nice. <laughs> Let, let's be serious. Uh, you have not that good results as it could be. Yeah. You agree with that? You can uh, agree. disagree. What do you think the main problem? Uh, I mean, I think a very big problem was how we uh, how we were handling shot calls in games. I feel like we uh, had Dandy call actually way too much, and Dandy should focus on his own game more. And me and Losser actually had to pitch in more in Fishman also, and uh, calling shit in the mid game and late game about moves that we should and shouldn't make. Usually it was like uh, Dandy's calling, we follow. Now it's starting to turn more into a, a, you know, we're all calling together, I guess. Not like one team captain who is saying everything, we have to follow him every time. I, mm -hmm. I think it used to be an issue that's right now a lot less, at least we're winning scrims again, so that's good. You feel that the, the problem is in the game? Yes. It's not about the atmosphere, it's not about the other uh, other things. You well, think it's, the problem is in the game? There's issues there also, but I don't think they're the main reason that we're losing. At least a lot of teams that I know also uh, tend to have issues with uh, with their players where they're getting conflicts. Sometimes it can be very damaging, but for us I feel like it's still... It's not reached a point where it's a big problem. I feel like more end game. No matter what we did, we were losing every game, and I think uh, partially that was because of uh, because of the end game calls that we that we made. And right mm -hmm. now we're changing it a lot, so I think it's uh, it's help. It's working a lot better now, at least I feel like. We have uh, three Russian speaking players, uh, two English speaking players. Uh, of course, Russians uh, can speak English, not yeah, Russians. Kinda. I mean, uh, two Belarusians uh, and uh, one Ukrainian. But uh, they speak Russian and they speak English. Tell me what Russian words you learned. Uh, Zadot. <laughs> uh, <Okay. laughs> that's 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 one. Um, I think it's normali, normali or some shit like this. No, 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 normal, no, maybe. No, it's not that. They, they said it differently. Anyway, that. Um, <laughs> what else? Uh, I don't remember honestly. There's just a bunch of like random words. I know "kagdila" yeah. is like uh, like a greeting kind of thing. "Kagdila" means how how are you? How are you? Yeah, yeah. It's like a, that's what I mean. Like a like a greeting. How are you? Uh, uh huh. Uh, yeah, I think that's about it. I didn't really care to learn much Russian. Maybe Dandy swears sometimes when he dies in Metva. That's about it. You you are lying right now. Suka blat Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Piss the ass. <laughs> Dude, I, mean, I, 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 I know I think, you're go I think you're gonna hear yourself in chat wheel next year after this. <laughs> do you know how it, do you know how this words the uh, the translation of these words? Barely. <laughs> <laughs> Especially the last one. A ball? <laughs> or no, no, before yeah, yeah yeah. I have no idea. No idea. Okay, I'm not gonna tell you. Okay, well then, <laughs> guess it'll be <laughs> funny next time I say it. I still don't know what it means. Okay. I'm sure that they actually told me what it means once, but I can't remember. What what, what is the next hero you make 25 level? Level 25. Uh, probably Amber, I think. Yeah, I guess Amber. If if you're gonna make uh, Amber Spirit level 25, it means that you will use it in competitive. 
or you you or you do it just for fun uh just for fun in general i think i enjoy this hero it's not super in meta and post one right now and not people people are not playing it anymore because i usually want a farming carry on post one okay let's return to the good old uh, question uh give give us advice how to play ember please how we, we are waiting <laughs> this question took quite a while last time <laughs> uh <laughs> well for ember for sure you can say you want to play active and not farm uh yeah. in, in pretty much every single game uh on item builds it just depends a lot on games you can go vessel you can go yules uh you can go maelstrom first item you can go desolator it, it just depends if enemies uh have like let's say a morphling and your team doesn't want to buy vessel it's good to, for you to buy it if you need to uh if you need to defend towers or you want to um, uh, fight constantly and poke enemies you can on skill builds go for maxing w on amber uh what other bullshit can you do I don't know, maybe if you're if you want to um, run in more and if you can stay in the middle of enemies because they have low stuns, you can go flame guard and max that out. Uh, there's a lot of things you can do in this hero. It's very versatile in a lot of games. There's not really one correct build. What is your main advice to the 3k tra- 3, 3k trash players like me? <laughs> give up. What is your not give up, man, dude. Okay, so Russians never sorry. give up. You have of to course. remember. Yes, I know, I know, I know. Russian proverb. What is the main advice to the 3K, 3K, 4K players? What should they do to get out? Play the more person? and play better. That's that's all you have to do. Uh, you maybe watch pro replays or some shit like this, even though I didn't do it. The, you just got to improve yourself as a player. You cannot do something special to get out of your MMR bracket. The best thing that you can do is maybe spam one hero, but that's about it. And even that won't always work. That was, the, that was my uh, first attempt to uh, record 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 rec- record uh record. english podcast with english speaking uh, player by russian speaking host <laughs> i think you know in russia we have proverb one more proverb uh, another, russia, one. another one um you i will google translate it of course okay uh, yeah, because sure. i know english uh uh-huh, i know obviously the first pa- the first pancake is lumpy you know <laughs> yeah that's the true proverb when you make the, your first pancake it's uh, lumpy i don't know what the fuck lumpy means but uh, i hope it's something good it just means the first try is shit that's it i yeah, uh, i got in russia over. we say it about pancakes because we yeah, like pancakes yeah. what the fuck what is what yeah, is the problem yeah, of course what is okay. the problem? And there is no problem i swear to god you, you, you don't laugh about our pancakes anymore i have no idea that russians like pancakes before that's the first time i've heard this we call it blin <laughs> okay well, what was it again blin <laughs> blin <laughs> actually 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 blin is the soft version of blin <laughs> <laughs> I remember it. <laughs> what do you mean the soft version of blood? Like, like it's the same. Like when you say blood, it means like you are angry. But when you say thought, blin, you when you say blin is the same meaning, but you're just disappointed, not angry. I thought blood meant whore. Yeah, I know, but I think you you, you use blood and you use blin in the same situation. But blin. Means oh. Like, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. But blin is like soft. You yeah, might, yeah, you, yeah, you're just disappointed. Oh, that's sad. Blin. Oh, Blat, you can't believe it's, it's the same, but you are angry as shit. Yeah, yeah okay. Sure, I got it. You don't uh, <laughs> laugh at me, dude. That, that's my first attempt. Maybe, <laughs> maybe, maybe when I will edit this shit, we will not even put it on the. YouTube. I think I think it's best you just leave it completely unedited. I'm sure people will enjoy it more. <laughs> I uh, let me let me finish this podcast again. Okay, go try. I will try. Okay. Yeah, so, you as we Russian says, Russians say. Please stop. <laughs> The first pancake is lumpy. <laughs> <laughs> As usual. So that was our first pancake with Russian speaking host and uh, English speaking uh, so called uh, player. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. So let's me let me try uh, let me try to finish this podcast okay. third yeah. time. Okay, that was the first attempt of uh, our podcast. Number six for English speaking audience by Russian speaking host and English speaking player. Uh, as, we <laughs> <Please don't. laughs> as we Russians say, 
<laughs> as the Russians say, you can just say it by. <laughs> no, I'm not going to uh, say it. <laughs> yeah, say it, please. Uh, no, 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 I'm not going to say Russian, it. I'm not going to say Russians, it. I don't know what say Russians it. say. No, this. Why, I forgot why? Alzheimer's. <laughs> it's on you. <laughs> Okay, as we Russian says, uh, the first pancake is lumpy. <laughs> Probably it that was the first pancake. But anyway, we will try to make it better. As we Russian te as Russian teams uh, like to say, uh, not uh, just Russians, but uh, anyway, uh, we will come back stronger. Next I hope time. so. Every year we write this shit uh, at the end we of the season. We will come back stronger. Next yeah, season. I hope so. Unless you disband like Navi. <laughs> no, 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 not, about, not jokes about Navi. Or the, their audience will kill us uh, okay, okay, in a second. Okay. <laughs> okay, let me try to finish this fucking podcast at the fourth time. <laughs> okay, that was our first attempt. <laughs> of podcast number six for English speaking audience by Russian speaking host with English speaking You're player. To Maybe go for the fifth attempt already. already. That's the 100% okay. the last one. Don't make me laugh. <laughs> well, I'll try. Okay, I'll Please. try. Okay, that was the first <laughs> attempt of the English podcast number six for English speaking audience by Russian speaking host with English speaking <laughs> player. Sixth attempt. Uh, as the Russian says. <laughs> as the oh Russian my god. Say, the, first, the, fir the first pancake is lumpy. <laughs> You are fucking lumpy, man, I swear. Lumpy. <laughs> you could say the first pancake always sucks. That's the first pancake always sucks. You can say that. No, I mean, you mean sucks means uh, not tasty, it is. but it is tasty, but it's like the different form, you know? Not is that what you mean? Form. Are you sure? Yeah. Why <laughs> is the first pancake always lumpy? Russian idiom explained. It's the English website. Dude. You just I'm not saying lumpy is a bad word. I'm just saying it sounds fucking funny. Why do you have to throw out the first pancake? Because <laughs> it sucks. For example. I mean lumpy, what it's trying to say is that it you know it, it, it's just kind of failed. It's not... Anyway, anyway, so whatever, whatever. The last of the last okay. attempt. Okay, guys, that was the first uh, attempt uh, of uh, English speaking uh, English speaking podcast number six. Uh, uh, provided, produced uh, by Russian-speaking host uh, with um, English-speaking player. As we Russians say, the first, the first pancake is lumpy. <laughs> the first pancake is lumpy. But anyway, we will try our best next season. Uh, next, uh, I mean, uh, next, uh, the next uh, podcast. We will come back stronger, and uh, you, you are not gonna face palm every uh, two minutes, right, Crystalis? I have my doubts, but sure. I think after this podcast, you became uh, Daedalus, not Crystalis. Okay, I hope, we hope that your first pancakes are not going to be lumpy. I hope so too. <laughs> they, <laughs> they will be the good ones. Nice. Uh, I'm sorry for my Oxford English. Uh, I, I tried my best. Uh, and uh, I will uh, practice mm. more to get level 25 so on I can help. skills. And and you can't help. You don't know what is lumpy. And you don't I know, know what, what lumpy pancake, is. So. What the fuck? Uh, anyway, dude. Anyway, dude. Uh, Boris Britva doesn't need uh, teachers. Uh, he learned everything by himself. Okay, that was the podcast with the guy who didn't watch any Guy Ritchie movies in his life. We should uh, wish him good luck and uh, Godspeed. Godspeed. Uh, Amen. Uh, Goodbye, everyone. That was uh, that. W it was uh, that was it Try. was Crystalis. It was or that was. Uh, that was. I'm not even sure if that's correct. You know what is the main? What is the funniest sh uh, shit? Uh, actually, I know English, but I just you know made fun of you. Uh, uh, goodbye. Good luck. Uh, we love you very much. 